Clyde Jeff. Lloyd. Um, I once said something hurtful to Clyde Lloyd about his captaincy. And I, what I said was something about him being, I wasn't sure how good, whether he was an expert tactically. And I think that was quite hurtful. And I, that I may have implied that he relied too much on a great team. But I've reviewed that and I don't actually think that's fair. Because I think that what he did was, to an e e extraordinary degree, bring a team of disparate individuals with all the difficult island loyalties and, dis and, and differences together as a team. And they always had the feeling that Clive Lloyd was the captain of the West Indies and of that team, and that that came first, and that there were no regional prejudices or personal prejudices of any kind. And I think he did a pretty remarkable job. And I think he also, I think another remarkable thing was that he was willing to go against all the uh, the shibboleths of cricket at the time, and probably still, that you had to have a balanced team, you had to have spinners. He said, we haven't got any spinners. We've got, I don't know, six, eight, ten great fast bowlers, or very fine fast bowlers, some of them are great bowlers. And um, who's going to want to bat against, um, I don't know, a good enough bowler like Jumadine, say, or Inchin Ali, uh, as opposed to Colin Croft, or Malcolm Marshall, or Wayne Daniel, or any of these people, really. So I think he, he did a, a, a great job for the West Indies. Uh, I think he, he probably was very good with a range of people, like Larry Gomes, who was not a great star in the side, compared with Viv Richards, Clive Lloyd, Gordon Greenwich, um, Holding, Marshall, the rest, um, Roberts, and all of them. Um, but was actually a crucial member of their team. You know that he he was a person who was very happy to play second fiddle with Clive Lloyd or with Viv Richards, and you know give the strike away, not dominate the scene, but pick up his runs and keep going. And you know, and, and someone like Gus Logie, who fielded at short leg, was a good a good cricketer, but he wasn't one of the great stars. But he was integrated in the team as well. So I think making a team out of disparate and gifted individuals keeping them together, the pride of the West Indies, and without any, with ignoring the regional differences. And, and it's not that he ever did anything, uh, that he didn't do, that he made mistakes tactically, and maybe he didn't need to do a great deal, a great deal. And if you have four fast bowlers and you're bowling 13 overs an hour, you can bowl them for uh, sort of, what, five, six of the overs of the day, and you get a few extra overs in from Viv Richards or Larry Gomes. And I, I think there was an attitude that was a bit of another of those shibboleths at that time that you probably shouldn't bowl short at tail enders, which was a bit ridiculous. It's like saying it's not a not an out and out contest, or it's like saying, all right, we'll have a handicap, you know, that Malcolm Marshall can bowl with his left arm tied up across his body against people batting at bats from nine, ten, eleven. And that's what it's like. So I, I think in 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 the end, I thought he was probably okay what he did in that regard.